Hi, everybody. Cheryl Echeverria of Echeverria Travel. And today is Friday, September 23rd, 2022. And welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been following me on TikTok and YouTube, you know this is episode two of four episodes dedicated to my top four cruise lines that I love currently. These, this list can change at any time, no matter what. But uh, currently, these are our top four. Yesterday was MSC Cruise Lines. And if you go click the bell, subscribe, uh, go back to the 22nd, you can see the reasons why we love MSC so much. And please take a look at all our past videos. I have interviews with my uh, tour operators and suppliers and interesting people from around the world. And coming up, Next week, the 27th, I have Bro, Bo Franz from Celebrity Cruise Lines. Uh, if I had a fifth one cruise line, it would be Celebrity. But right now, these are just the top four. And I'll actually put out a list of our top 10 recommended cruise lines. And again, these are for different types of people. Not everybody's going to agree with me. Not everybody's going to like the list. You have your favorites, and you're allowed to have your favorites. But also try something new. Sometimes that even a destination will help you uh, pick a different cruise line over the current one you have your your heart to. And nobody's going to be insulted if you went like on the Pride of America to Hawaii versus Holland America that goes out of Los Angeles or one of the other cruise lines that take longer to get to Hawaii versus just flying to Honolulu and doing a seven day. Which brings me to our, my third favorite cruise line, and Norwegian used to be my number one till these other two came along, but Norwegian Cruise Line is number three. Uh, why they're number three is that they were the first cruise line my husband and I ever cruised on. As you all know that I specialize in one of my niches, and that means one of my specialties, is working with people with special needs. And I am legally blind. I can still see, but I I am legally blind. That's why people make fun of my eye. Please don't do that anymore. That's really rude and nasty. And just don't do that. If you want to comment on other things and you want to find out about blindness and other things, I, I was with the National Federation of the Blind for over seven years. I was president of the Travel Tourism Division. I, I'm still an advocate for people with disabilities, especially the blind. So if I don't know what I know who to ask. So please don't be afraid to ask. Just don't make fun of me because uh, you'll be thrown off. You'll be kicked out. Whatever you want to call it, you'll be done with. I don't have time for you. Okay. Norwegian Cruise Line, when I first was offering it to uh, my colleagues with the National Federation of the Blind, they would tell me, don't you know we sued the Norwegian Cruise Line because they were denying people that are blind to cruise on their ships or not? At that point, I had no idea because I was a brand new travel agent and I had no idea what they were talking about. So at that time, the Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing was Mr. Andrew Stewart, who originally, uh, before he left, became president of Norwegian Cruise Line. Uh, right now, he's not with Norwegian anymore. I'm not sure what he's doing, but I know he's doing something wonderful. Uh, and he is very, very hands-on. So when he said if travel agents need things, let him know. And what I did, I actually called his office. I emailed him. I told him what was going on. And within, I'm going to say within 10 minutes of all those phone calls and emails, he called me back. He actually called me back on the telephone, not texting. Not a, he called me and said, Cheryl, we've been trying to get our, excuse me, our ASSs out of our butts for years ever since that happened. Because I do know the couple that that happened to. So anyway, that, that's a long story short. And I'll get into that short. Uh, I'll get into that another time. But let's just say... He was been trying to get it uh, that bad reputation from Norwegian out of their vocabulary. I wanted to work with me and the National Federation of the Blind to update their accessibility with the cruise lines. 
So from there, I have my foot in the door with, with this man, with the cruise line, uh, was on the, the travel agent advisory board. I was I was uh, introduced to uh, the head of access department. I was also introduced and found my good friend, Andrew Garnett, who owns Special Needs Group. His company actually rents wheelchairs and scooters and anything to do with disabilities and special needs. I do have an interview with Andrew on my channel. So if you look for special needs, Andrew, Andrew Garnett, do take a look there. And if you have a uh, disability and need assistance, whether it's a bed, wheelchair, scooter, oxygen, food, whatever it is, let me know. And if he doesn't know about it, he'll find out about it for me. So again, we get a lot of great connections in this world, in the travel industry to make things better. That being said, my husband and I went on our first uh, cruise with Norwegian and we started out with the Norwegian Epic. And I have to say I had a wonderful time. At that time I had my guide dog, Max, with us and he went. He was treated like a king, I was treated like a queen. I was shown all the information. I was asked about different things, how we can improve this and improve that. And I knew it wasn't gonna happen overnight, but it was in the way of the way they handled the communication with me and the willingness to work with me. And at that time, not too many other tour operators or tour suppliers or cruise lines were even working in that direction. But we, and still, they're just still not perfect. I mean, but still, I go to them and say, hey, you got to fix this and you got to do that. At least, I hope I'm getting through because Andrew's gone and um, the other person that access is gone. So now I, I really don't know who these people are who are handling everything. But when I do have an issue, I do try to send it to the right department at least. And hopefully that will, will suffice. So let's just say my, my 10, ten I can say out of the 20 cruises, Nelson and I have been on, 10 of them have been Norwegian ships. And uh, we really love them. We love the quality of the product. We like that you can have fun, but you don't have to be crazy either. Uh, they got great, great kids clubs. They got great uh, havens or your, your luxury area. Uh, great destinations. They're, they are more on, I'm not going to say the level of Royal and Carnival. I'm going to say they're more on the level of the Norwegian more like a celebrity type of cruise ship versus the lower two. And only because I feel like it's a more of a mature level of traveler on there. And just FYI, they were the first ones to have freestyle cruising. It wasn't the other two, it was Norwegian. They were they were the first to have Broadway shows. The Broadway shows. I have seen Jersey Boys. I have seen um what were the other two? I've seen a Jersey concert. I've seen oh god. My brain hurts. Uh, I've seen the Rockettes because Rockettes are the godmothers of the breakaway class. I've seen that, the rock one. Oh my God, the rock and roll one. I'll have a list of them, but all the, 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 the cruises that we've been on. Oh, yeah, million dollar. Uh, Million Dollar Night, the one about um, the night with Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, uh, and uh, it was a great Broadway show. We saw the Cotton Club. We've seen so many great shows on there. I've been on the Epic, the Breakaway, the Getaway, the Dawn, the Gem. The Bliss, the Encore. So that's seven, and two of them we were repeat cruises. So, yes, and I can't wait till the Viva and the Prima comes out. 
Now, uh, the pre-mail that we have for December is sold out. We hope to do Prima uh, when she comes back after her. You, I think she leaves in March to go to Europe and then come back. And then we have January 2024, the Viva sailing out of Puerto Rico going to the Southern Caribbean. And we please, 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 I can't stress this enough, book into that group space because you're going to get 2022 rates in 2024. Put a $250 deposit. Right now, they're having reduced deposits. So that's $250 for two people in the room. Plus, you get your free at, free at sea offers. Plus, you get, I believe, I have to look, but there's a, a certain percentage offer on that as well. And I get some exciting news. They get the brand new uh, The Week in Spirit coming out. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to give you a hint of that one. Let me get on my... And she's coming out in, I'm going to get go here. In this episode of Embark. She is coming out, let me just make sure she is coming out in 2024. Yep. So anyway, the new Norwegian spirit is falling in the, in the heels of Viva and Prima. I do have people going on the Prima in March of the of 2023. So if you're interested in that sailing, there's still space left. And the Broadway show on that is the new Donna Summers Broadway show. And on the Viva, it is The Wives of King Henry VIII. And that one is, let me just hear it. Broadway show. Five, eight, eight. It's called six. Sometimes my brain hurts. <laughs> I forget. Anyway, that's the only part of my disability. I forget sometimes a lot of things. But don't let that bother you. I've been doing this now for over 20 years and I don't let anything stop me. And uh, I'm not perfect at doing these uh, webinars, but who who is, you know? Anyway, Cheryl Echeverria of Echeverria Travel, I hope uh, you will take some of my advice and uh, let us book you your next travel experience because travel is an experience. And one final thing I want to say, uh, my I get paid commission, and that money is already in the price of your travel, whether it's cruise, an all-inclusive resort, a, a tour, whatever you're going to do, because if, if you don't uh, know and you're not paying a travel agent with that money, they're not going to use that to work with you, so... Uh, that money does not come off your 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 price of booking them direct and leads with me. You get more than just me. Okay, there you go. There's your room. Bye. Have a good day. Bye bye. No, no, we we don't do that. You're you deal with us. You work with us. We do concierge service. We we help you with transfers. We help you if you get uh, have issues. We we do it all. Anyway, have a great day. Have a great, uh, I'll be coming back to you tomorrow about our number two favorite cruise line. And I'll give you a small hint. When you wish upon a star, I can't sing. A lot of things I can't do, but hey, I have fun doing it. Have a great day. And remember, travel is the spice of life. Get out there and enjoy it. Bye-bye.